Welcome to 8809 Mount Batten in the beautiful hills of West Austin, right in the Texas Hill Country. The neighborhood is called Westminster Glen. We have exemplary schools, we got shopping close by, but most importantly for this house, we have an amazing family house priced at a million dollars. A million dollars in this neighborhood is exceptional by itself, but this is 4,600 square feet with distant views and a beautiful pool. As you come in, you see the big two-story grand foyer. To the right is the formal dining room. Now, these are not formal dining room people, as you can tell, but we have the pop-up ceiling. We have, look, look at the views through here. Just spectacular hilltop views. There's lots of detail, crown molding in here. There's the chair rail. There's picture frame molding down below. Really pretty the way it's done. Across the hall is a private office. Access through a French door. Over here, all by itself. This is a part of the house that truly, we're at the edge of the house. We're looking out on the front. So even if people are out of the pool, it's going to be quiet up here. Um, great, it's enough space to have an office. It's not a huge office, but it's enough space if you're officing at home. Especially gonna be great though, because again, you're away from everybody. Family room way back there, pool and noise out there. And the kids, the upstairs portion is way on the other side of the house. Let me show you this family room. So behind this door is a closet that goes back and then wraps underneath the staircase. Tons of great storage. Next is the powder room. Greatly positioned, convenient for everything. And then I want you to get a feel for the space of this room. This is ginormous. It's crown molding. It is walls of glass across the back, across the sides. This is a massive open space. If you like an open floor plan, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't get any more open than this. We have beautiful beams. It's got a little bit of a contemporary feel. Corner fireplace over here. Again, walls of glass. French door leading to the back, and I'm gonna take you out there in just a little while. Behind Matthew, this living area, family room, opens right up to the kitchen and breakfast area. And Matthew, even from here, give them a feel for what is behind those windows. The view is just spectacular. Again, those are, this is hilltop views from everything on this side of the house. Breakfast area, the kitchen has gas cooking, double ovens, microwave, um, has the island in the center. Some people may want to give the, the kitchen an update. This island's already been painted. You could redo tops, paint this a different color if you choose. Right now it's very warm with the earth tones. More storage over here. There's a bank of storage by the refrigerator. Indoor utility area. And look at the size of this beautiful pantry. Now that's a lot of space. That's a lot of Kleenex boxes too, but it's a lot of space. Okay, also on the first floor. Again, I want to stay there if you would, Matthew. I want to give you a feel for the space. So, we go all the way across, nothing but glass overlooking the backyard. Still cruising to the far side of the room. Nothing but glass overlooking the backyard. Beautiful deck out back for entertaining, accessed here and also in the master bedroom, which is where we're going next. Master is on the first floor and it is it's another great size room. So, master bedroom. Might take a little while for, for the lighting to adjust. Look at the tray ceiling in here with crown molding, updated fan, bay window. This could be your sitting area over here. This is a huge master bedroom. French door access to the pool and hot tub area. security system as she's talking to us. And the master bath, a huge master bath. Her vanity with makeup area, his vanity, a private potty, a big jetted tub, separate walk-in shower, and look at the space in this walk-in closet.
And you do have an additional coat closet or medicine closet. Really great space. So first floor, we, have, we came in the front door, we come into a big two-story foyer, and on each side we have a formal dining room and an office. As we headed to the back of the house, we have a monstrous family room that is wide open to both the kitchen and the breakfast area. Look at the glass all the way across the back and sides. It's just beautiful. I'm getting ready to take you upstairs because upstairs we have a really great layout. We have four bedrooms upstairs with two separate living areas and another deck with just beautiful views. As I mentioned, the upstairs is something I really like in this house. I sell a lot of houses. The norm is you get one room upstairs and we have the one room. We have a really big, a great size game room, but I have a second room for you also. Tray ceiling with crown molding. French door access to the deck. Look at these beautiful handmade doors and look behind them. Just a massive amount of storage off of the game room. Really spectacular. And out back, we have views this way towards downtown. This gives you a feel for the size, the shape of the pool. It's absolutely beautiful. The pool, the tile all across the back with the big wall. And Matthew, look what's behind me this way. Matthew is going to give you a drone shot a little later that's going to give you a feel for where we are. We are very close to Lake Austin. As I said, this is the start of the Texas Hill Country, and there's your evidence. Also upstairs, we have the second living area, and we have the four bedrooms. So look at this. Right off of the game room, we have a bar, a wet bar. Great idea. Kids are up here playing. You put the mini fridge under here. They got everything they need to be able to stay upstairs for a while. French doors leading into our second upstairs living area. And look at the views out of this room. If you can afford to live in West Austin, this is what you have to look forward to. Just spectacular hill country views. Now this room, what's the purpose of the room? This could be an office upstairs for the kids. This could be the homework room. This could be the game room. And this could be, with a big TV here, the gaming room. And that's what they used it for when the kids were younger. The big TV was here, they'd set up consoles, do the gaming here, and then had a big pool table right outside. So as I mentioned, we have four bedrooms upstairs. This is our first. It's like living in a tree house. <laughs> We're on top of the world. Take a look out there at the hills. This is beautiful. If I had to have an office in this house, I think I would have it in this room. It has a walk-in closet. And looking through the glass is spectacular. This bedroom shares the bathroom with the bedroom on the back of the house. And look at the space in this bathroom. We have the tub and potty over here, double vanities. We have a closet. This is a huge bathroom area. In time, if you wanted to, there is more than enough space where you could divide this, redesign, and have two separate bathrooms where each room gets their own. There's enough space to be able to do that. And then on the back of the house, how about this for a bedroom? This is a secondary bedroom. One, we got beautiful light coming through. We got views through the windows, but this is a huge bedroom. It is not the largest of the upstairs bedrooms, but it is a very, very large bedroom. As you can tell, each of the bedrooms, as I mentioned, have a walk-in closet, ceiling fan in this one, and notice the separation between these two bedrooms and the other two upstairs bedrooms, which are on the complete opposite side of the upstairs. Great privacy. Now this one is painted dark blue. This is the boys' room. So it might, again, take a minute to adjust, but I need you to know this is a ginormous bedroom. Well, we have a bed here, and then we have a second bed way over here. You could have bunk beds, you could have, you could house a little army here. But this is a huge bedroom. It has a Jack and Jill bath, 
Each room has its own walk-in closet and has its own vanity. So if somebody is in here in the shower, somebody else can still be brushing their teeth or hanging out out here. So here is our wet area in between. And then here is our fourth bedroom upstairs. It too has the same big walk-in closet, uh, has its own vanity. And this is the smallest of the upstairs bedrooms. But this is bedroom number four upstairs plus the master down. So, when we came upstairs, we landed in the game room. Beautiful room, raised ceiling, French door access to the private patio out back, great views. Um, if I look out to the front, we're looking at the foyer. Again, beautiful views of the hill country. We have the second living area here, which could be an office, could be the gaming room. Uh, we also have a wet bar here. Then we have bedrooms on the front of the house, as well as the back of the house, with a bathroom in between. And then on the far side that we just left, we have a huge bedroom on the back with a smaller bedroom on the front. Four bedrooms, two living areas upstairs. And again, great separation between each bank of two bedrooms. The outside of this house is really beautiful. And that's where I'm about to take you. Eighty-eight oh nine Mount Batten, in the beautiful Westminster Glen subdivision, in the hills of West Austin. This is the start of the Texas Hill Country. We are twenty-five minutes to downtown, fifteen minutes to the Domain, and ten minutes to the Arboretum. All of the creature comforts are close by, but we feel like we are out in the middle of the hills. It is spectacular out here, and this house is forty-six hundred square feet, with master on the first floor plus an additional four bedrooms and two living areas upstairs. Upstairs, you have the private deck that you can see now coming off of the game room. The game room is big enough easily for a pool table or ping pong, plus it has a second living room up there. Perfect as a study room, it has French doors. It can also be a gaming area for the kids. There's a wet bar. And then there are four bedrooms up there, two on each side of the house. So great separation between the rooms. Two of the bedrooms are ginormous in size. All four of them, though, have walk-in closets. And, and each set of two bedrooms shares the bathroom in the middle. We've got great storage throughout this house. On the first floor, when you walk in, you're looking directly through that glass into this beautiful backyard in the pool area. Walk through the foyer. To the left is the study. To the right is the formal dining room. Raised ceiling, hill country views. Beautiful trim work. And then you walk across to the back. The entire back of the house is wide open. Just walls of glass overlooking this beautiful backyard. Looking back through to the kitchen, again, hill country views. You can see them in this take. Look through the glass. Look through that, uh, that cover coming in from the house to the garage. It's a three-car garage. Beautiful views through, through many, many rooms in this house. We're on over an acre. So there is lots of room. There's a trampoline behind me. There's tons of room. You can have a playscape, beautiful area. Downstairs also is the master bedroom. Master bedroom has a sitting area. It's a huge room. It has the moldings. It has an updated fan. It has a huge walk-in bathroom with her vanity, his vanity, a jetted tub, and a walk-in shower. Also has the private potty area, linen closet, and a huge walk-in closet. Again, we're west Austin, west of 360, 25 minutes to downtown with views of the hill country with amazing schools this, and a price point. Here we are with 4,600 square feet and all this to offer at a price of $1 million. But the shoes do not come with the house. <laughs>